the galactic center of the Milky Way is one of the most studied and yet most, most enigmatic places in the universe, I guess. Because uh, we know that there is a black hole. Uh, we know its mass from dynamics measurements, so this is the strongest black hole candidate. We almost cannot doubt that it is a supermassive black hole. And uh, we know there are several hundreds young stars. Uh, there is a nuclear star cluster of relatively old stars and several other peculiar objects. Uh, what my studies focused on in particular is the fact that they, to make a long story short, the young stars should not be there. So the strong field, gravitational field, due to the presence of the black hole, should destroy any molecular cloud as soon as they approach the supermassive black hole. And uh, uh, as an astrophysicist, uh, I think we think that stars form from molecular cloud. So it was very puzzling to find extremely young stars uh, close to the black hole, close, I mean, uh, less than one parsec. The galactic center is, uh, should be a very hostile place for star formation but we do observe young star very close to the black hole. So uh, I'm sort of ask myself, why, why not planets? Uh, understanding whether planets can form close to a supermassive black hole is a very difficult question. So in my recent work, uh, I tried to approach it uh, on an easier side. I said, okay, let's assume that planets can exist close to the black hole, we don't know why, but let's assume they can exist. Then is there any feature from these planets that we can detect? And so uh, with a simple, relatively simple model, I found out that there are some features that can be observed from planets uh, which are currently observable with, with available facilities with 8 meter telescope. And uh, this is the starting point for studying planets in a galactic center. Well, numerical simulations uh, are always useful in astrophysics because uh, most uh, astrophysical processes uh, um, don't uh, occur in a human life. They take much longer. So, for example, when I say that there are young stars in the galactic center, I mean three million years old. Three million years means uh, a huge time for humans, uh, more than the time uh, humanity was on Earth. And so uh, numerical simulations are the only way we can reconstruct uh, the formation and the evolution of these stars. Of course, they are models, so they need to be uh, continuously checked and compared against uh, observations. Having been awarded the Merak Prize is an extraordinary experience for me. I, I still cannot uh, believe <laughs> I got this prize, and on the other end, on the other end it's also a very uh, important result, uh, not only for me, but for my group, uh, and I guess also for Italian astrophysics. It is quite difficult to be an Italian astrophysicist in Italy now during the economic crisis because uh, uh, I have to struggle with problems uh, with funding for research every day. Many of my colleagues uh, had to quit their job. And uh, this prize uh, can give me a strong motivation <laughs> to fight all this problem and continue with my work with new enthusiasm. And I guess it's uh, a really good start <laughs> for, my, for my career.